Welcome to Artis Education. Today we are going to learn about Chapter 7 Circles. In this video, we are going to learn about radius, chord, and diameter, and also about a compass and how to draw a circle with the help of compass. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. We are familiar with the circles. We find many things in our surroundings which are circular in shape. In this standard, we are going to know more about circles. Let's start our video. The first thing we are going to learn about circle is a radius. What is the radius? Look, here I draw a circle. It has one point inside. When I draw a line from this point to the circle like this, The line joining the center, this is the center of the circle, this point is called the center of the circle. The line joining the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called a radius of the circle. So this is the radius of the circle. Radius means a line which is Start from the center point of the circle and join any point on the circle is a radius. We can give a name with the help of alphabets to it. Write your P, Q or X, Y or A, B. Any name we can give to the radius. Radius means... So radius means a line which join the center of the circle. point or we can say any point on the circle. This line is known as radius. Now the second is chord. Chord means what? A line Joining any two points on a circle is called a chord. Means when I draw a line like this, you can see this line join two points on the circle, this one and this one. Point A and B on the circle join with this line. This line is known as chord. A line joining any two points on a circle is called a chord. So chord means a line which join any two points on a circle it's called a chord circle 
have many chords. We can draw them like this. Also, give the name to the points. Then we can draw a chord like this. We can give them a name. So, a circle has many chords. Remember, a circle has many chords. Now, the third point we are going to learn here, a diameter. A diameter means what? A chord. Diameter is a chord which is passing through the center point of the circle. Diameter is nothing but a chord which is passing through the center of the circle. You can see here, well, here a point. This point is a center point of this circle. And when I draw a chord which going through the center point of circle, then it is called as a diameter. Look, this is the diameter of the circle. What is the difference between chord and diameter? Diameter is going through the center point of the circle and chord joins two points on the circle. Remember it very well. Give the name to the points P, Q, this is our center point. Give the name to it O. A chord passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. Let's write its definition. A chord passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. Look, it's very simple. Now, one question is given to us in our book. On page number 41, we have to write the answer for it. Here we can see one table is there. And we have to find out radius, diameter and chord from this figure. Look at the question. The center of the circle below is O. This is the center of the circle. There are other points and lines given in the diagram. Find the ready chords and diameters in the diagram and write their names in the box provided. So we are going to write now its names. Radius means what? The line joining the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Remember a circle has many radii. They are all of the same lengths. So, this is the center point of the circle. So, for the radius of the given circles are starting from the center point OS, then OT, OP, and OM. Now, the diameter. A line or a chord which passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. So here we can see that PS is passing through the center of the circle. 
so ps is our diameter also we find here chord mt is passing through the center of the circle so mt is also a diameter of given circle now we have to write about chord chord means what a line joining any two points on a circle is called chord so this is the chord n and m it joins two points on the circle also ps and mt are the chords now let's overlook to our compass this is our compass we use a compass to draw a circle one arm of a compass has a metal point look compass has two arms and one arm of a compass has a metal point and the other arm of a compass has a place to fix a pencil this is the this is that arm where we are going to fix our pencil a pencil of a suitable length is fixed to the compass so look at the length of this pencil i am going to fix it now we are going to draw a circle with the help of compass and pencil first of all we have to fix the pencil to the compass for it we have to align the metal tip this is the metal tip of the compass with the pencil point look here you have to place your compass like this and then put a pencil in the compass and and move this circular shape to fix the pencil in the compass now our pencil is fixed and both points are adjusted metal point and the pencil point now how to draw a circle with the help of compass look first of all we have to take a convenient distance between a pencil point and the metal tip let's take convenient distance in it now we have to take any point on the piece of paper here i am going to take a point you can see it hold the metal tip steady on the chosen point this is the metal tip and we are going to hold it on the chosen point like this and then turn your pencil point around it on a sheet of paper like this look here our circle is complete now what we have to do we first we have to fix our center point take a point any point where on the piece of paper then hold the metal tip steady on the chosen point like this and and turn the pencil point around it on the sheet of paper like this look our circle is ready i hope you will understand it very well see you in next video problem set 28 subscribe my channel for more videos and recite the radius chord and diameter definition thanks for watching this video thank you